good morning guys and welcome back to my channel so it is like literally like 10 to 8 in the morning right now and for some people that might be late but for me that is very early in the morning today's vlog is well it's not going to really really be a vlog it's just going to be me sitting here talking to you guys pretty much sorry like this literally is what my videos have consisted of because my life's just boring at the moment. There's nothing really a lot to do. So I thought I'd sit down here for story time and kind of share my thoughts with you, um, which I'd rather do. I'd rather sit down and talk to you guys about certain subjects that you want to hear, that you've questioned me on and stuff like that. So let's get into the vlog. So this vlog today is going to be about um, pros and cons of bodybuilding. I sometimes feel like I, I love giving my opinion on this subject, especially when it comes to bodybuilding. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get into it and tell you my views. And firstly, I wanna say that it is not for everyone. Not everyone can do this sport and everyone can handle the dedication and the commitment to this type of thing. And I didn't think I could either really because it's hard, like you have to stick to a certain amount of calories a day, you have gotta do excessive amounts of exercise a day. And I didn't think I could do that, but Clearly I can. So let's just get into the video and talk about like the pros of bodybuilding. Firstly, my pro of this entire sport is that it's a challenge. I love challenging myself, like pushing myself further than I even know I can. Like at first, my first prep was like probably one of the easiest. I did, I went on stage so, so soft. Like I'm naturally quite lean anyway, so I pretty much just dieted down like a tiny little bit and just went on stage. I was already very lean anyway and kind of just went, fuck it, let's jump on stage. So I went on stage um, and yeah, that was kind of it. But like, I love pushing, like each prep has kind of been like a bigger eye opener than the last one. Like I've pushed myself even more, whether it's been with training, whether it's been with diet or tried something new and gave myself a challenge instead of just kind of doing the same thing over and over. And that's what I like. I like challenging myself more than I can even like imagine and kind of kind of finding myself a, a lot more like finding what type of person I am what how how hard I can push myself how hard I work with something um and that's why I like it because it's it's challenged me so much it gives you a goal to like reach like I know obviously it's aesthetic based like appearance and stuff like that like you're going on stage to be literally judged on your body like it's not a speaking contest like it's not giving it your personality you show your personality through your body and the way you pose kind of and most of the time it you're well you are literally just being judged on your body and the way you present yourself on stage and the way you are on stage and that is hard like that's hard because you are literally going up on stage and being like judge me on my body um and some people may not agree with that because in weird ways it kind of is so not agreed on but we do it anyway i feel like i love having set goals so when i'm on season i like i have this set goal in my mind like i want to look this like this on stage i want to look my best on stage and when i'm on off season i want to be like i want to build a good amount of muscle off season blah, blah blah and it gives you a goal to kind of reach the feeling on stage I can't even explain like I cannot explain to you how much it is just an amazing feeling like you've worked your absolute ass off getting on stage and presenting your body that you've worked so hard for will never that is like the biggest pro like the biggest up for on bodybuilding because putting your body on stage for everyone to see and present yourself for all the hard work that you've done, like in 12 weeks, 18 weeks, 20 weeks, whatever you've done, it's just the best feeling in the world. And like, I just can't e like explain how amazing it feels like going on stage, knowing you've worked your absolute hardest, knowing you've just put your absolutely everything into this prep and you haven't left un one stone unturned. And it just is like that amazing feeling where you know you've worked hard you've worked hard and you've like whatever the placing is you know you've worked hard and that's when you know bodybuilding is for you because you get on you get up on that stage and you just fucking suss it out oh it's just the best it's just the best feeling ever like 
all competitors will agree like if you do this sport like regularly anyway like I do like it's just the best feeling like I can't even explain what it feels like it just is amazing and that's probably one of the biggest things that I love about bodybuilding is going up on that stage and presenting my body to people I've like I've worked hard I've worked hard on this body I've done what I can to get this body and I've achieved my goal from whether it be like 10 weeks, 12 weeks or whatever the prep has been, you've finished it. You've finished that prep and you've succeeded your goal of getting on stage. And that's like the best feeling. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so let's get into the cons of it, which is like the cons that I've written down. It sounds like there are more cons than, than pros sometimes, which can sometimes be bad and obviously that is that it is an unhealthy sport like there obviously are talk about steroids and there are talk about obviously like eating disorders and stuff like that like either after prep or during prep um which are obviously the unhealthy side of the sport i just want to say first off i don't take any steroids because i just want to put that out there that i don't because a lot of people think i do which is like, that's their opinion. They can think that, then that's fine. But I just want to make it clear that I am a natural athlete. I don't take any form of steroids. I work hard. I don't take them. And that's it. It is an unhealthy sport. I totally admit that. And But it's your choice whether you do it or not. Like, it, every sport is an unhealthy sport because it's an obsessive sport. Like, you, we, we think about it 24-7 and we obsess over it and we want to thrive in it. Um, but you've just got to make sure you've got the research right done on your coach and you're not putting your body through so much and your health isn't at risk and an insane amount because at the end of the day your health is the most important thing when it comes to this sport like if you become ill because of this sport and start pushing yourself even more that's unhealthy like you shouldn't do that and that's why it becomes an unhealthy sport I think because people push themselves too far and they push their body their bodies too far than what it can actually handle which can be a good thing and can be a bad thing like you just need to find that like level of how much to really push your body and kind of know when to stop which is my biggest advice for anyone is like knowing like how far to really push your body and how far you really want to push your health um which is the most important thing. Obviously, another one of them is you could fall out in love with training. Even I've sometimes done it on like a couple of my shows last year. I just was training just because I had to, had a show and I just wanted to do the show and I wasn't even enjoying training at a point. Like I was just doing it because I knew I had to. Like I had to train during my competition season. Like I had to and I just was, I didn't enjoy it. And I was just like, this is horrible, like I don't want to train, I'd rather be at home, I'm tired, like after like however many competitions I did. You fall out of love with training, you fall out with the reason you actually started bodybuilding because you love training and you love fitness and people fall out in love with that and that's what sometimes can happen when you obviously, like I said before, push your body too far and you're, you're doing, you just can only see one goal in mind, which is obviously getting on stage, but you've got to do it in a sensible, in a, and in a proper way instead of just pushing and pushing and pushing your body because at some point you're going to crash and some point you're just going to hate training and not want to do it anymore which is that's literally I came to that point so so close last year after the British finals um but obviously I carried on pushing and it turned out to be good so sometimes pushing your body can be a good thing but to a certain extent it is a very 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 competitive sport and especially in men's physique and bikini at the moment I always find that bikini and men's physique are probably one of the most competitive categories is because they are the easiest category I'm not saying that it is easy to do like it's not and I'm not saying bikini is easy because it's bloody not they're, they're the most relatable people can do like people can be like I'm gonna try and get shredded for men's physique or I'm going to try and do bikini because that's the easiest one that's the starting point for a lot of people like that is just the starting point it's just the way it is and it is a very competitive sport because a lot of people do bodybuilding nowadays I, f I find it is a very kind of almost like a fashion now bodybuilding like if you really want to push yourself a that little bit more people do a competition which is great because this sport is such a good sport to get into I think but 
at the same time, it is very competitive and a lot of people end up tracing placings more than actually doing it because of a passion, which is totally fine because I, for one, I, I know I trace placings because I want to get to that level where I can be the best and I want to one day be the best. And that's one of my goals and I want it to make it my career. But sometimes people kind of chase it too much. They chase the start to just chase trophies and it gets too much in their head and if they don't place they get disheartened and they keep like they either quit because they think it's too competitive or they'll keep going like to be fair it's competitive it is a competitive sport any in any sport some person someone is going to win and you never know if that's going to be you or not it can be you as well like who knows you can you can be you never know who's going to place that day it's all about what happens on the day some people obviously do go to competitions to win and some people just do it to to do it and enjoy the sport which is totally fine but sometimes obviously people chase trophies and they want to win their category, they want to do well, they want to show people that they are the best, which is totally fair because, like I said before, someone is going to win the day. Like, it's there's no, like, second and no first, like, or no placings at all. Someone is going to win the day. That That's just how it works. And that's why sometimes I think it can be very competitive because you start to kind of, if you come second or you don't place or something, you start to compare yourself to other people. Yeah, it's just a very competitive sport. And I, I for one, I can totally own up that at first I was chasing, chasing placings. And that's when, obviously last year, it just didn't, didn't go the best for me. I just kept on going and going and going, being like, I need to place, I need to place, and putting that very, a lot of stress on myself. Um, and yeah, comparing myself to other girls that would come first or come second or place. And that's not good. You need to focus on you. You need to focus on what you're doing during this prep, which is, an, which is why it's so competitive, because obviously there are the likes of social media, people going on people's profiles and kind of looking at their progress and stuff like that and seeing kind of what they're getting up to and being like oh they're, they're they're in shape like blah blah which I can totally I can totally own up to I did a lot of that last year I would go on girls profiles and be like oh, fuck like I'm against her like it kind of gets to the point where you are just comparing yourself against other girls and you have that very competitive side to you where you just keep on comparing yourself to other people, which it shouldn't be about. You should be focusing on yourself, just doing you and kind of not focusing on anyone else, which is when I finally, finally did that, which was when I did the sh when I did the Sugar Classic last year. Um, I finally did that. I focused on myself. I didn't look at social media. I kind of just literally kept it a secret almost that I wasn't competing because I didn't I just wanted to focus on myself I didn't want people kind of asking me like I just wanted to get on with me and that's worked for me and that worked that works for me and that gave me that little extra little bit of confidence that I needed and my last one pretty much is can create a lot of body dysmorphia um, and what that is obviously is like looking at yourself and pretty much not liking what you look in the mirror, like what you see in the mirror and kind of seeing yourself in a different way when actually you are you don't look a certain way. So for example, you may think you, like after competition, maybe you've had a lot of food and you look and you think you look fat and you don't. And the best thing I can even advise if, if you even think this at the time is to take a picture of yourself, either just standing there or posing or doing whatever and look back at it another time, another time where your mind is better and you will realise that you were not fat. You were not, you didn't like look big or anything like that. And last year, a lot of the time, I would take pictures of myself and I look literally look back up at it on these days and a lot of people are like, when you're on prep and you get prep brain and you think you look flat, you look, you look really big and you don't look stage ready, um, like a couple of days out or something and I'd look back on the photos at, like I literally did this the other day and like the fact that I thought I didn't look stage ready is ridiculous and that is body dysmorphia at its like finest. A lot of people do that like I, I, it's it's a common thing in the competing world a lot of people look at themselves and be like I'm not gonna I'm not lean enough like it's prep brain and it's all in your brain and it's that is body dysmorphia. And um, it's, it sucks, but you've kind of got to push past that. And my, like I said, the biggest thing you could do is literally take a picture of that point 
carry on with your process don't kind of stress about you don't look lean enough because most of the time you probably will look lean enough and you look you'll look back at probably like that in a month's time and be like what the fuck was I thinking <laughs> like and that is pretty much my pros that's not obviously all the pros and cons but that is three and three pros and cons for the world of bodybuilding that I think about competing um, and a lot of people obviously jump on the competing bandwagon and kind of think oh yeah I'll compete and I did I that's what I did and I I thought I would absolutely hate it and I absolutely love it and I would didn't wouldn't know what to do without it now if you're a newbie and you're trying and you want to do a bodybuilding competition and you want to get into bodybuilding that is totally fine that is amazing that is so good that you want to get into it but the first things you need to do is find out why you want to compete what you're doing it for you need to make sure you're doing it for yourself don't do it for other people and don't do it because everyone else is doing it. You need to make sure that it's actually a passion of yours and you need to make sure you're doing it for yourself. You need to make sure you're doing it for no one else. You need to make sure you're doing it for the right reasons um, before you jump on obviously the bodybuilding world really. I, I think that's me personally because a lot of, a lot of, I've seen so many people kind of jump on the bandwagon and have so many problems after and it's horrible to see because it's, it's just what happens. It's just what happens. People do it, do it because other people are doing it or it's the fashion and it kind of makes them fall out of love with training and makes them fall out, love, out in love with fitness. So you've just got to make sure you're doing it for the right reasons to any newbies out there that want to do it. And to be fair, I've only been doing it for two years, so I haven't, like, well, this is my second year, so not even two years yet. Like, I'm not an expert, but I'm just putting my points across because a lot of people have asked so I just, I'd rather give out my points and kind of make someone think more in depth about doing a bodybuilding competition before they jump on it straight away. Um, and yeah, I've literally ran for like 26 minutes. I said this was going to be a short one, but I, I always lie to myself. But yes, thank you for watching this video. If you made it this, this long into the video, please comment down below on what you want to see, um, more of my videos consisting of because I don't want my videos just to be about like bodybuilding, fitness and stuff like that. I'd rather talk, I'd love to talk about other things um, in my life um, that I've experienced and kind of, kind of give you advice on it as well. Um, and yeah, so thank you for watching this video. Sorry, it is a very long one again probably, um, but I literally could ramble on about bodybuilding for absolutely forever. So I'd rather give my point across to you guys in full deep emotion than literally just give you like a five minute video. So love you guys so much and thank you for watching.